CBS 17 is your local election headquarters. We are less than three weeks away from election day. But if you want to cast your vote early in person, you can start heading to the polls tomorrow morning. CBS 17's Harrison Grubb is live in Raleigh. Harrison, tell us what people need to know. Yeah, well, one of the biggest things is to remember that this is the first major election we've had with the state's new voter ID requirements, meaning that you have to bring your ID before you cast your ballot. With North Carolina in the crosshairs of both presidential campaigns, voters in the battleground state can start heading to the polls Thursday. More convenience and less excuses. Michelle Ingram plans on voting early. My primary reason for voting early is so I can provide transportation and motivation for those on election day. According to the North Carolina State Board of Elections, 65% of voters chose in-person early voting in 2020. Expect we'll see a lot of people out there tomorrow and in the following days. NC State political science professor Stephen Green says the Tar Heel State's importance in this year's presidential election could be a big factor in motivating voters. We're simply getting way more attention this election than uh, we have in the past. We've been a swing state in the past, but not quite like this year. If you are planning to vote early, you can go to any polling location within your county, but make sure you bring your ID. The truth is, uh, within political science, uh, we've seen that it just ends up not really having much of, of the negative impact that people feared that it would. And if you aren't yet registered to vote, the early voting period is the opportunity to register and then vote at the same time. Early voting runs through Saturday, November 2nd. We have a list of every polling location by county on our website, cbs17.com. Levin Raleigh, Harrison Grove, CBS 17 News. All right, Harrison, thanks so much.